Welcome to this short video covering SolarEdge Designer's unique DXF import feature. Learn how to import a PV site directly from CAD models built using software such as Autodesk's AutoCAD. You can then continue your electrical design and stringing within Designer and take advantage of its advanced energy simulation, financial analysis and customer proposal tools. Before we start, make sure you are working with a two-dimensional model, and that the model, PV modules and obstacles are each placed in a separate layer in your CAD software. The first step is to ensure you have a valid DXF file that matches the specific import guidelines. If your file is saved in a different format, such as DWG, convert it to DXF using AutoCAD's export feature or other third-party online conversion tools. We're now ready to start. First, open the relevant site in Designer, go to Site Modeling Mode and click the Upload DXF button in the top menu. If you have an existing roof model or PV modules in this site, they will be overwritten. To locate the DXF file, either browse to the file location or drag and drop it. Files up to 20 megabytes are supported. Once the file is analyzed, choose the layer that represents each element in your drawing. You can choose to import both roof model and PV modules, or either one of them. The obstacles layer is always optional. Now, choose the manufacturer and model of the PV modules in your site. If you have more than one type of PV module, choose the primary one, you'll be able to change it later inside Designer. Proceed to choose racking type for the modules, and specify the tilt and height settings, if relevant. Once again, if you have multiple racking configurations, use the most common one and edit specific module groups inside Designer. The DXF file will now be uploaded. This can take a while depending on your internet connection and the size of the file. Once the upload is complete, you'll see an indication whether the import was successful or not. If it failed, then refer to the import guidelines document I mentioned earlier to ensure that the file is compliant. You can now position the imported roof on top of the background image, as well as rotate the entire roof to adjust its azimuth. You can also do this later by selecting all roof edges using the Ctrl plus A keyboard shortcut. If the model was drawn in a scale other than 1 to 1, you can scale it up or down using Designer's built-in scaling tool. Click the scaling tool, then select a roof edge. Type in the edge's real-world size and press Enter. Designer will calculate the scale factor and adjust the proportions of the entire drawing. Continue to the PV module placement to review the placement of the modules and adjust specific module groups, if necessary. That's it. You've successfully imported and configured a designer site from a DXF drawing. You can now move to the next stages of the project and complete your site's electrical design, configure financial settings and view the summary report as usual. We do encourage you to read the DXF import guidelines document which includes additional important information on structuring your DXF file for an optimal import. You can find a link to the document in the video description or in the DXF import window. As always, don't forget to watch our other designer how-to videos.